Hi there everyone, um, welcome and this is your new home for the next few days. Um, we're very pleased that you have chosen our vans. We have two vans, Frida and Wanda. This is actually Frida that I'm showing you today. They are identical with the exception that Wanda does have solar panels and Frida does not. So important that I firstly bring your attention to the, the little black book uh, that is actually regarding everything uh, specific to the van. So I do urge you to go through this. It has very important information in here. So at your leisure, please do have a look at this, this book here. This book will be situated in the center console, which is uh, you simply slide this up and it will be sitting there. Okay, so you need to keep that one there. Now, essentially, this is obviously the cabin. I'd like to run through a few of the details here. So very important, first of all, to best understand, the, the fuel gauge is actually situated right here. You simply pull that towards yourself and that will release the fuel cap, which I'll show you a little later. So you have your indicators here and your windscreen wipers. Uh, across through here, you have um, the mirror gauge, so these are electric mirrors, which will um, obviously the side mirrors you can organize. You have a radio cassette, you can utilize your own music through this system as well, and obviously temperature and air conditioning. Very important that the kilometers are noted, okay? So we urge you to take a photograph of the kilometers. So you do get 150 kilometers per day for free. However, if you do go over that kilometer, then you will pay, need to pay 25 cents per kilometer thereafter. So I urge you to take a photograph and we've zeroed, um, you can zero the kilometer so that you can also use that as a second gauge. Okay, it is unleaded fuel and we do expect uh, a full tank of fuel to come back um, upon return. Okay, so I think that covers the inside of the cabin. Now, <clears throat> we'll move around the outside. So essentially here you have a shower tent. Um, very simple to use. You simply unzip. There are two arms. You fold the arms out. It creates then a cubicle. You can tap down the sides of the cubicle with some tent pegs that I'll show you a little later on the other side. And then you have an extra room. Okay. You can use the solar bags, which again we will show you. You can fill them up with water, wait for them to warm up in the sun and hang them and utilize that as a shower if you so wish or just hang them to a tree. Okay, so moving along here, we have, um, if you are at a campsite and you do have mains power, you will use the uh, extension cable, which again I'll show you where that is. You literally plug into the mains here. That will give you all of the operating uh, power for the inside of the, the vans. Obviously, if you do have wind wander and you are off-grid, the solar panels will assist with certain areas of uh, powered units. Okay, so the power here, water. So this is for internal water, for the sink essentially. So if you do need to refill, it does have a full tank, 45 litres. But if you do need to refill it, you simply use this little black key here. Maybe if we move around, then you can see more effectively. You have obviously the car keys here. You have this little black key. You literally plunk it in, turn it to the left, push it in and twist it to the left and release. Okay, there's a hose pipe inside as well that I'll show you and you literally fill the water tank here. To close this up, once it's full, you literally simply push it in twist it to the right and then lock it okay and then that will actually spin freely once it's done okay moving around here now this is internal gas uh, again you actually do need to open that and that's actually with a little gold key I've already opened this one so if you do wish to do internal gas first of all very important you need ventilation okay for any internal cooking these vans come with both internal and external cooking, but if you wanted to use the internal, you obviously use this system here. Essentially, inside you have the, the four litre tank. Um, this is all complimentary. You literally twist this to the left to turn it on. You then push down this gauge once, and you will hear a little hiss. And then essentially that is an active uh, tank ready to go. So, once we go inside, I'll show you later, then you use this and then obviously at the end of the cooking you turn this off, okay, always with ventilation. 
Moving around the van, you have your fire equipment, fire safety equipment here and here. Again, moving around. You saw when I was sitting in the driver's seat, I popped the uh, fuel uh, cap, and this is essentially where you put your unleaded fuel in, okay? It does look like you need a key, but you don't. <laughs> this will simply open, okay? Fill it up, and then obviously then just push that closed. Again, moving on around. When we slide open the door, important to note that you have got um, space in here, inside here. <coughs> you do have your uh, mains power cable. There's an awning. There's um, so the tent pegs for the shower tent and there's a hammer there. Okay. Underneath here, in this little section just down here, if we turn that anti-clockwise, that opens up. And you also have some important tools that you may need, some mechanical tools. And on this other side just here, you have a jack. Okay, so in the unlikely event that you do need to um, change the tire, you will obviously need the jack. And the spare tire is actually here. You loosen this bolt here, and then the tire comes from underneath. Okay, or simply call Camplify, and then they will send someone out to assist you. Okay, so moving back around, that essentially covers everything. Obviously, to release the bed, you simply put the seats down, and that will actually give you more option there with the sheets, with sorry, with the with the mattress. Okay, to flatten it out to make it more comfortable. Okay, all right. I think that covers the outside. I'm now going to cover the inside for you. Thank you. Excellent. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to show you the inside of the van. Okay, so first of all, just here, this is a nice little table that you can use. It simply clicks in place here. Um, if we just look inside the van here, just above the bed, you can see um, at the top section, you've actually got two comfortable armchairs and a large dining room table. There's also a foam mat up there. The foam mat is actually for using in the shower. Okay, so if I pop into the, uh, into the, into the van, just show you here okay so essentially here we have internal cooking we've already popped the gas here so that you can see exactly how that opens then this literally opens up clicks into place here you have an igniters here sets the gas please remember to keep the doors open when you can okay uh, simply once you finish turn the gas off always having ventilation and close the lid if you do wish to cook in outside, you can obviously utilize the ex external cooking. Inside here, you do have um, a stove, a gas stove here. Please look at that book again and it'll give you the full instructions on how to use. So external stove is right there. You just open up this case and you can use that one. Um, and it comes with a complimentary gas canister. It's again, very easy to use. If, um, just simply slide into place and then you'll be able to do any external cooking okay pots and pans down at the bottom closing that off this is a fridge uh, Wanda does have a different type of fridge at the moment but this one is um, a small angle fridge with a small freezer in there is a double locking system on the side you literally pull that down when you open it up that's great you've got access there but then here close it and it actually has a double locking system on here okay in here you have the microwave, you've got some pots and pans. You can only utilize the microwave when you have mains power. It will not work on any solar power. You do need mains always for the microwave. Okay. This is your small sink here. Okay, so you have water. In order to put the water on, you have a small switch here. You literally push this switch and your water will come out. Okay, up the top here you do have tea, coffee, sugar and mugs, some basic tin foil, some cooking equipment here um, for, for your complimentary use and some tea towels down the bottom. This cupboard here is ready for you to put whatever you want to in there, um, completely empty. And this cupboard here has your cleaning equipment um, and your solar bags and your hose pipe. This one closes. 
in here you have your kettles there's electric kettle and a gas kettle you have a backpack which actually has all your knives forks plates bowls etc in here and this is for barbecue kit which also holds an igniter for your gas stove and a picnic blanket down the bottom there okay and a, an electric fan which will plug into your usb port which is actually just up here so should you need that that's all there complimentary for you to use one of the other areas with Frida there is a television uh, that you can use and there's some DVDs in the front console Wanda does not have a television but um, Frida does I think um, the lighting is pretty self-explanatory runs off all the batteries um, you literally just pull them on and they'll work okay so these will run off the battery whilst you've got a full battery um, and you recharge your battery with Frida whilst you're driving but please I urge you because each van is a little bit different on that to please read your book it lists all of the contents and it also link, link, um, lists uh, where you'll find various things in the van and how you operate them so I think that covers everything um, please I urge you in the book it's got our contact telephone numbers I might just pop out whilst I can I would urge you to have, um, keep in contact with us at always. We are here to help. Uh, Camplify is here to help as well. And I think that covers everything. Have a fantastic trip. Thank you.